right around the corner. And tonight, the city of Stockton working to cool down neighborhoods that are feeling the heat more than others. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Hunter Sowers. And I'm Curtis Ming. A NASA study found a 5 to 15 degree difference in temperatures between North and South Stockton. Your reporter covering San Joaquin County, Esteban Reynoso, live at the impact and the reasons for it. Esteban. Well, yeah, hey there, guys. Now, the study have found that a, a large portion of why these temperatures were so different compared to South and North Stockton was because of a lack of tree cover, as well as a lot of freeways, a lot of vehicle congestion that adds more gases into the air that heats up and traps more heat in urban areas where there aren't those tree covers. Now, the city of Stockton says that they understand and recognize these disparities and they want to change it. A heat mapping study done by NASA's Ames Research Center shows a big difference within the city of Stockton. When comparing South Stockton to the north side of the city, there was on average a five degree warmer difference in the south. The report suggests the main reasons for this disparity is heavier traffic flow in condensed neighborhoods, specifically near freeways, impacting air quality and trapping heat, as well as a lack of greenery in the south, which leads to even more heat with nowhere to go. I'm in South Stockton, and this is a thermometer that measures the surface temperature in Fahrenheit of whatever we're standing on. So I'm going to point it at the asphalt here, and it measures about 120 to 125 degrees of where people are going to be walking on, biking on, and going about the city. But if I step back into the shade here, under the tree, the temperature drops 40 to 50 degrees difference, and it's something that people around this area want to see more of. There's, there's resources out there that can be done. So we took those concerns to City Hall. As a South Stocktonian, um, I will tell you that um, it's not a surprise. Vice Mayor Kimberly Wormsley grew up in South Stockton and not only understands the report, but agrees with it. We know that, you know, South Stockton has had its challenges and its indifferences, so we know that that, that does play into the scenario. She says as the District 6 council member, her plan is to work with the council and the mayor to break the vulnerability divide within the city. Combat the disparities such as health risks that come along with this injustice. Now, Wormsley also told me that just last night the council passed a pollution reform for the for the South Stockton area, which aims to plant more trees in the area. And on top of this, there was also the city council approved seventeen thousand dollars of seventeen million dollars. That's going to the McKinley Park in South Stockton. And they say, guys, that they're going to add a lot more shade down there as well. All right. Thank you.